It's Friday night. It's 7 p.m. That means it's time for the Paul and Nikki Show. The greatest show on earth. Yeah! I am not Nikki New. And I am not Paul Linden Bootwell. But this is the, the Paul, Paul and Nikki Show! show. Welcome back. It is yes, Friday welcome, night. Welcome. It is 7 p.m. You know what that means. It is time for the greatest, greatest show, show on earth. On Earth. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the Paul and Nicky Show. So yeah, we're going to do the catch up and then we'll get straight into straight some in amazing there. games today. So Nikki, what have you been up to this week? Oh, oh, just, you know, lots of nice things. I went for a lovely meal with my family the other day. Mm, lots of yummy, yummy nice. food and things. She likes her food. <laughs> well, you, don't you know? Don't I know it. <laughs> don't you know it? <laughs> um, so that was nice. Um, yeah, just like, general stuff really you know sort of general things you need to do around the home and sorting out and looking after your family and lots of hairdressing lots more films and things like that steam cigar okay out for justice talking about Brilliant films film. did, didn't i see somebody like you on revelation tv Ooh, last night oh you may have done <laughs> you may have done so for those of you who don't know um myself and nikki <laughs> we were on revelation television last night which is a, a tv channel that goes out all over the world and uh, every other month, I think it's every, yes, every, it's every other, every month, other yeah. month, we we go on to this television show called Revelation TV and we broadcast in a half an hour program. So next time it should be about September time, I think. So September, be sure yeah. to watch us on Revelation yeah. TV. Yeah. So that was exciting, wasn't it? That. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was really, really good. Yeah, yeah. And this week I've been watching a few films. Oh, I've watched watching. Superman. This is the original Superman, like Christopher Reeve, oh, the, the yes. best ones. Yeah, yeah, So we yeah. watched Superman 1. It's always the best. Superman 2 and Superman 3. And Richard Pryor. Richard, Pryor. Richard Pryor. Absolutely, Pryor absolutely well. amazing. Really so we saw that two nights <laughs> yeah. ago. So it's absolutely incredible. So highly recommend the yes. original Superman yes. films. They're really, 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 really good. Mm. All right, so we're going to go over now to, well, let's ask Happy where we're going to Happy, go. Happy, where are we going now, Mr. Happy? Please tell us. The Games of Insanity. Okay, so we are over to the Games of Insanity. insanity. <laughs> okay, the Games of Insanity this week, we have recorded <clears throat> this, and this is a game of air hockey between Nikki and myself. And of course, with the games of insanity, whoever <gasps> Mr. wins... Spoonie! <laughs> Mr. Spoonie! They will get to adopt and keep Mr. Spoonie for one oh, whole Mr. week. Spoonie. So will Mr. Spoonie go to Nikki this week? Or will Mr. Spoonie come to Mr. Paul this week? We will find out. So over now to the games oh. of insanity. <laughs> Take home oh, Mr. Spoonie this week with a five nil win. You to... did get me a very bad time to be fair at that point. It was the end of the day and I was very tired. 
So you know. it was the end of the day for no, me as it well. I was just as tired, but somehow you get loads more sleep than me. So. Somehow I happened to win. <laughs> I admit I get lots more sleep than you. Dream you do, on. You do, you do. Dream on. So I get to lots adopt <laughs> and inherit Mr. Spoonie yet again for a second week oh, running. No. Will it change next week? You'll have to wait and it see. It needs in to the... change like it did last week with the pie face. It needs to game. change. Mr. Moon. <laughs> of insanity. Mr. Moon. Okay, Mr. Moon. That's <laughs> my new nickname. Mr. Moon this week. Did you see that last week? That was absolutely shocking. I had a big pie face. It that looked like awesome. a moon. That was like, brilliant. One of those that old films. That was brilliant. That was definitely the best one. So that was, that was so fun. Far. Okay, we're going to go over now to Happy Happy. What's coming up next? next. Freaky Facts. Awesome! It's freaky time facts. for freaky, freaky facts. facts. Okay. What freaky facts have you got this what, week? What have I got this week? Wow, we've got some good freaky facts. Okay, did you know that a woman in Sweden lost her wedding ring while cooking for Christmas in 1995? And she looked everywhere for it. Looked all through the house, all through the garden. Yeah. She dug things up. She couldn't find it anywhere. And... Uh, in 2012, um, as she went out into her garden to pick up some carrots, mm -hmm. she picked up one carrot and on the end of the carrot, guess what was there? Ring. You guessed it, her oh, wedding ring. After all oh, my precious. precious, after 17 oh. years, I think it's 17 years, after 17 years of losing her wedding ring, she had obviously oh, thrown it out wow. with the, with the yeah. peelings at Christmas and it had gone down into the soil and a, and a carrot had grown around it. She picked the carrot for food, and lo and behold, yeah. there was her wedding ring. That kind of puts me in mind, like, you know when you drop something on the floor, like, it, like something like a ring or anything like that, it bounces, and it's amazing yeah. how far it can go sometimes. And you're like, how on earth did it get over there? And it's somewhere you wouldn't have even thought of or yeah, looked. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Especially like, so that, you can kind of see that happening, you know. In the garden around a carrot as yes. well, imagine that. Yeah, imagine yeah. she'd been growing cauliflowers. Yeah. She'd never have found it again, would she? <laughs> no. There we go. Talking about cauliflowers, over to Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely deserves a pie face this week again. I'm getting some revenge goes, this week, I'm telling you. Ooh, I tell you. I'll go Vengeance too far. is mine. Okay. Too far, that is. I knew I touched a nerve last week with that. Mm, yeah. Can't you, stand it, guys. He just you, can't you stand losing. What do you think, Mr. Spoonie? Just can't stand it. Can I stand That's losing? why he was absolutely miserable all week last week. No. <laughs> so, okay. anyway, over getting to, back to, to the Nikki. freaky facts. Um, I thought this is rare. Yeah, it just shows you how amazing our minds are, right? Because this freaky fact is, did you know that all Fruit Loops... Yep. Did you know? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Talking about Fruit Loops. Oh, <laughs> to Nikki. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? She what? set that one up. I that was too touched easy. I touched a nerve last week, didn't I? Go ahead, Fruit Loops. Talking about Fruit Loops. Um, did you know that they're actually all the same flavour? Are they really? Yeah. They, even though wow. they're different colours, mm -hmm. and we might think, you know, you see a pink one, you think, oh yeah, raspberry, strawberry, whatever, orange one, oh, oranges, or whatever it is you like. They're actually all the same flavour. This is the cereal, right? This, this is, is the yeah. Fruit Loops, yeah, they're all loops, the same. Yeah. This was discovered by time, and if you thought that you had a favourite, of course, you're wrong. Now, wow. do you know what this puts me in mind of? What's that? And I, I like watching it for quite a while, actually. It's Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Oh, okay, that's really good, yeah. And yeah. on there, he did this test with a couple of chefs. And he, he blindfolded them. And he said to them, right, I want you to tell me if this meat is rare, this steak is rare, medium rare, or well done. But what they didn't know is <laughs> they were expecting, like, this steak and thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll be able to tell that, you know, mm. cooking steak all the time. He actually fed them pork, chicken, oh, lamb wow. and beef. And they knew, none of they them knew tell. because they were blindfolded. <laughs> none of them knew. It's actually really hilarious. And it was just so funny. So that just proves the point. See, in the mind, he'd yeah. already told them. So their mind had already thought, right, I'm getting a steak here. Hmm. And because their mind had already told them that, whatever was given to them, they just believed it was uh, the steak. And yet it was, wow. you know, well, we know so how different pork tastes. <laughs> 
to beef and things like that, you know, so yeah. I could do it with my children. I could tell them they're having like KFC and just <laughs> oh, give them like yeah. peas and carrots yeah, or something. Yeah, just put it in the <laughs> Blindfold KFC bag. Them well. Put it in the KFC bag, you know. <laughs> well, that is a freaky fact yeah. right there. Okay, I've got another freaky fact. In 1966, Frederick Bauer developed the ingenious idea of stacking crisps or potato chips for our American friends, one on top of another in a, in a can. And of course, this became known as uh, Pringles. And so we've all, I'm sure we've all had Pringles. Pringles. I love, love Pringles. Pringles, really tasty. Yeah, so and you get so Just many get of them in the can as well. <laughs> but Frederick Bauer was so, um, he was so impressed with his design that he actually wanted to be buried in a Pringle can. Did you know this? I think I actually You've heard saw of, I heard Have it you heard of this? Was, yeah, oh, wow. Think, wow, okay. Yeah. And so um, yeah, his yeah. children stopped at a shop called Walgreens, it's probably an American shop, on the way to the funeral home to buy a Pringles can, and they couldn't decide which flavor to bury him in. Like, what is this? <laughs> and so in the end, they said, uh, we decided to use the original flavor because obviously that's what he was really known for in the first place. So Frederick Bauer, the originator of Pringles, was actually buried, probably his ashes, I'd imagine, put yeah, into a Pringles into can and Pringles, buried. Yeah. So <laughs> you couldn't really hold body now. <laughs> It'd be a bit of a tight squeeze, wouldn't it? Oh, squeeze him in, pour him in. Um, so the next time, the next time you have a can of Pringles, remember. The, the, the founder of Pringles was buried in one of those. So that's yeah. a cheap funeral, right? Yeah, very He's probably cheap. A, a multi billionaire. That's but why they did it. <laughs> yeah, could be. Save, Save their the inheritance. Cost. Save the costs. <laughs> right, okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, do you want to hear another one? Oh, for please me? do. Yeah, 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 do? yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, starfish yeah. eat with their stomachs inside out. What? How weird, I know. Starfish, also known as sea stars, mostly eat bivalves, and that's like your clams and your mussels. Yeah. It's like with the outside shell and then all the fleshy in the middle. And when they catch the food, the creature wraps its arms around its prey, its prey shell, and squeezes until the shell is slightly open. Mm -hmm. Then the starfish pushes its stomach, stomach up out of his mouth and takes and digests the inside of that shell. Why? And that's just, oh, that's and hard so to get your head around. The, the stomach comes out and gets, grabs the flesh inside of that uh, shell, and, and then, he, whoop, and, blah, blah, blah. and that's it, it's blah, gone. Blah, 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 blah. It's all up. Oh, Do they have shells themselves? Quite freaky. Starfish. Well, no, they're quite, like, soft, really, when you soft, think, I've never touched kind of hard it, but then it's hardy on, little yeah. bumpy bits, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Kind oh, of that's a bit um, freaky. Yeah, a bit freaky. freaky fact. Isn't it? I've got yeah. one more freaky fact. Have you got another one? I haven't got any more. That's okay, my so this, this is facts. this is yeah. the final freaky final fact freaky for the day. Facts. Yeah. Did you know? Okay, but dentist William Morrison and confectioner John C. Wharton invented candy floss Ooh. in 1897, and it was first introduced into the World Fair in 1904 as fairy floss. It's a nice name, isn't it? Oh, uh, yes, fairy floss. It's a nicer name, fairy floss. I don't know. Not, not as a man I want to call know. it fairy floss, no, but you know. Like candy floss. You like candy floss, okay. Yeah. Then another dentist called Joseph Lacau, I think that's his name, Lacau, reinvented the candy floss machine in 1921, and then he came up with the name Cotton Candy, which replaced fairy floss. So you've got all these dentists. I know, it's quite funny. Creating sweets that are going to give you know, it's like cavities and, and... Walking contradiction. So basically, it's like, it's like creating the disease and then inventing the medicine <laughs> yeah, to cure it, right? That's right, exactly. a, a big money earner, okay? Exactly. So I'm, I'm, so, I'm oh, sure maybe, maybe a few pharmaceutical <laughs> companies might be doing that, creating illnesses and then creating the, the medicines to cure them. So, uh, but yeah, there we go. Candy floss came wow. from dentists, folks. Yeah. So the next time the dentist says, stop eating sugar, <laughs> yeah. just remind your dentist it was them in the oh. first place that invented candy floss, okay? And I used to have a dentist. That you used to have one. I used to, no, I still have. <laughs> what I mean is, my old dentist, who's now retired, yeah. don't get me wrong, he was a very nice dentist, but he was always like, and I'm not saying, you know, each their own, if they want to do that, that's fine, but he stank of smoke. 
Oh, so each okay. time, you know, you sort of open your mouth and he's, you know, does this procedure that I think, oh, <laughs> he's all on saying you. to me about, oh, what have you been eating and what haven't you been eating and doing? <laughs> yeah, and in the meanwhile, he's breathing over me with this stinky breath. And I'm just like, what really? What have you been putting in your mouth? Oh, yes. What have you been putting in your mouth? What are the dentist like? Yeah, so. That's gross. <laughs> well, over to Happy Happy. What's Woo! coming up next? Oh, actually. Yeah. Actually, I think it's a brand new segment this week. Is it? Oh, oh yes, of course it is. Bring me sunshine <gasps> with Kimmy. Every day next to Barcelona's Arc de Triomphe, 26 year old student Adria Ballister sets up two fold away chairs and a sign in large letters, free conversations. He is able to speak in three different languages and invites people to just come sit and talk about everything and anything and over time he has had many wonderful, sad and enlightening conversations. Ballister says, we live in a world where it is often easier to send a message to someone from another country than to say good morning to our neighbours. So today, what can you do? Maybe it's time to pick up a phone and speak to a person you've not spoken to in a while and ask them, how is their day going? Maybe when you're in a conversation with family or friends, you take the opportunity to just sit back and listen for a change. Maybe today, just be someone's little bit of sunshine. Well, didn't she do well? That was Kimmy. Oh, well done, Kimmy. In the first segment of you, Bring Me Sunshine. Yeah. Okay, Brilliant so. Stuff. I love your t-shirt as well, Kimmy. That was a great t-shirt. Be kind. Be kind, Very people. Nice. We've yeah. got to be kind to people, out, especially in today's world. Kimmy's kind, isn't she? She's Kimmy is me. kind. In, today, in today's day and age, where there is so much unkindness, we have to right. relearn exactly. sometimes to be kind yes, to people and to be yes, generous and to look after other people. Yes. So, um, and we want lots of good news stories as well, Sue. Yes, we? We're we fed up with all the negativity, yes. neg negativity out there. We want some good news. So please be sure yeah, to send, send in your stories. good news stories to the Paul and Nikki Show yes. at gmail.com. And uh, it that. should be up. Which way is it? Is it up there? Oh, it's up there on the screen. I'm sure it's up there on the screen. Oh, okay, so look yeah. up there. You find yeah. our uh, email address. Send in your good news stories, any dance video clips. Yeah. And very, very soon, folks, we are going out on the streets. Yes, we are. <gasps> hold, hold your Jay. shock. Hold your shock. We are going out on the streets with Mr. J. Mr. J. The dancing robot Yay. himself. And the singing Jay. robot. I think he's just dancing on. <laughs> and we're going to be dancing with members of the public. And soon we're going to be putting that on the Paul and Nikki show. Yay. The greatest show oh, on no. earth. <laughs> okay, Mr. Happy, what are we going what over we to got next? next? Who's Elvis? Ooh. Ooh, it's who's Elvis. Uh -huh. And this week, Mr. Paul. I'm going to be having to do it guess. this week, so who these lovely celebrities are. Okay, so. So, Mr. Paul. Here we go then. Let's so. see how well you do. Let's have a look. Okay, Whoa. So our first. We have our first Elvis. Here. Okay, so let me ask you a few questions. Are, now, I, I recognize the lips, but I'm gonna ask a question. Okay, is, I'm allowed three per person, is that right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> is this an actor? Yes. Second question, does he have a very strange voice. Yes. Just trying to think of something you might say now. <laughs> oh, do you already know this one? That's so does, does he need more cowbell? I can't no, do his voice. More cowbell. No, naughty. It's Christopher Walken. Naughty. Yes. Oh I, God, I didn't think you'd get that. That's because I love Christopher Walken. He's like really <laughs> peculiar, really odd in all of his films, especially um, yeah, we yeah. watch Click with Adam Sandler. Yes. Where yes, he plays the yes. angel oh, of death. He's in that. Yeah, yeah he's like really kind of weird and gives yeah, him the remote yeah, control yeah, that yeah. he can control his life with and stuff. So I highly recommend Click. It's an amazing film, and Christopher Walken is in it, and he's yeah. one of my favourite actors because he he's so very good actor. So weird, he's really so creepy. Cool. A lot of charisma there. I can't isn't do his it? voice. His voice is oh, so cow. difficult. Oh, I'm not going to even try. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Okay, though, let's yeah. move on then to the second right. one. <laughs> okay, this. Wow, this is tricky. Wow, wow, wow. Who is this? Okay, so is this a comedian? No. 
It's not a comedian, so I was going to say no. possibly Chris no. Rock. But no, it's no. not a comedian. Is he an actor? Yes. He is an actor. That's two questions, but one left. Okay, one was... Who is this? Because the, the, the goatee beard, I'm not used to seeing this man with a goatee beard, I don't think. Could... He's could, a very nice man. Is he a nice man? He's a lovely man, yeah. But he seems lovely. So he's an actor. Um, is he in a Quentin Tarantino film? Ooh, <laughs> I can't refer to my name. Uh, I don't, best to my knowledge, wow. I don't. I'm allowed another question then. Think so, yes, you'll have to have another question because um, I haven't, I'm not sure about that one. All right, <clears> all right. Um, the films I've seen him in, it isn't that one. It's not a Quentin Tarantino, sorry. Okay. Film. Does his name begin with J? No. No, so I'm going to go for Denzel Washington. Oh! My How did you know? I thought it was Jamie oh, Foxx. Purposely did the goatee because yeah. he doesn't always have a goatee. And Jamie Foxx does in, oh, in Django, which is a Quentin Tarantino oh, yeah, film. Yeah, we know. And I thought That's it looks like Jamie Foxx, but. Oh, no, it could I be Denzel as that well. That could be. That's exactly right, and that's why I did. We did the wow. goatee. Wow! So we got like... we got two for two, folks. Ooh, two for two. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling have to make good. It harder. Gonna have to make it harder. So, Mr. Spoonie. Too nice. Mr. Spoonie, I'm gonna have I'm Mr. Spoonie with nice. me on this last one. Let's have a look, see who this oh. is. Oh, oh, that's hard. Okay, Mr. Spoonie, who is this? <laughs> it's clearly a woman. It's clearly a girl. <laughs> yeah. Who is this? Who, who is, is this? this? Okay, three questions then. Um, <clears throat> is she American? Yes. She's American. Okay. Has she starred in a film with Chris Pratt? Um, I'm just looking at my notes. Yes. Oh, has she starred in The Hunger Games? Not that I know hey? of. Not that I know of. Not that you know of? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> I'm allowed to ask another question then if you don't, do you not know that or? No. Okay, does her name begin with J? No, because... Does her name begin with J? No. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, I thought it was Jennifer Lawrence. Okay, let me... Let me um... Hang on, how many questions have you had? I'm like sure. three, but the yeah, other one was like, I'm not sure, so I'm not... No, no, no. Right, right, okay. you have one more there. Okay, one so I was going to say Kira Knightley, but Kira Knightley is English. I was going to say Jennifer Lawrence, because she started with Chris Pratt. So it's not her. So the Chris Pratt thing, by the way, I might may have got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the greatest game of Who's Elvis, where Nikki doesn't know any answers to the questions. Because <laughs> I have my notes. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to say Angelina Jolie because her lips are a lot fatter than that. that um, I might have that wrong. Okay. Oh. So I don't know who it is. Uh, it's this not, is your it's last question. Angelina Jolie. Please it's please. oh, mm. I got I got to guess. I got to guess. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for. Um, I don't know who this is. Just 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 go for Jennifer Lawrence. Even though I know it's probably wrong. Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, 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 uh. Who is it? It's one of Steve's favourites. Oh, uh, not Natalie Portman. <laughs> yeah. It's Natalie Portman. <laughs> She's usually a lot more angular than that. Oh, <laughs> Steve chose these pictures. Steve was like, he's not going to, well, he actually said he probably will get that one because he knew that you were help he was helping Yeah, you. and <laughs> what film has she starred in with Chris Pratt ever? <laughs> ever. No, because I was thinking of the Thor, yeah. the Thor film, which yeah. is obviously not Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's not um, in that. What's his name? The, the, the... Mr. Spoonie, what do you think? Did I win that? Thor? Yes, Mr. Name? Spoonie said I did win that Chris because Hansworth. she gave... Chris Hansworth. That's not I Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because they were in a film together before, Chris Hemsworth and Chris Pratt. And yes, that's why I got it wrong. That was a pooty round, that one. That was... <laughs> they were in Avengers, they were an Avengers film, wasn't it? They were. Okay. Anyway. Mr. Happy. <laughs> what are we doing next? Two out of three. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> happy speaking. Mr. Happy, go on. <laughs> sorry, Mr. Happy. Holy ghost gossip. Okay, it's time for Holy Ghost Gossip. And this week we're looking at the question, who, who was is Jesus? Jesus? Who was Jesus? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. 
Who is Jesus? So, who is Jesus? Nikki, who is Jesus? So, Jesus is like the incarnation of God. Okay, what do we mean by incarnation? So, when we say yeah. that, we mean him in flesh. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, he came down to into humanity as human, yep. in flesh. Um, and we know he's the saviour of the world. And that's what his purpose was, to come here, because God knew that man were not good enough to sort of, you know, put things right between him and them through their sin. So we needed a saviour. Yep. Jesus uh, is, um, is the Messiah. So he yep. was sent from God, um, That's a good appointed question. by God. Little question there. What does Messiah mean or Christ? What does that mean? So he was like the, uh, well, he's sent, sent by God. Sent by he? God, the anointed, the anointed king. The anointed king, yeah. that's right. Um, yeah, so just, just sent for humanity, really, just to sort of save us and, and put build that gap, that bridge between us and the Father, which was broken through man's mm. sin. Um, there's that good illustration, isn't there? I've seen it where there's like one cliff face here. So imagine my arm's the cliff face and your arm's the cliff face too. And yes, over, here is, right. over here is God and over here is us. <clears throat> and in between us and God, there's this thing called sin that stops us from getting to God. And what Jesus did when he died on the cross bridged is he, gap, in a sense, yeah. he, built, he bridged that gap mm -hmm. with the cross. He mm -hmm. died for our sins so we can now go over to God or God can come over to us and we can have that relationship. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... It's a rabbi. He was a rabbi in... The Jews and the Gentiles. Yeah, he was a Jewish rabbi living in the first century Israel. And did you know, I mean, there are a lot of uh, Jesus mythers out there today who say, oh, Jesus was just a myth. Jesus never really existed. But did you know there is no credible historian on the planet today who denies the existence of Jesus because the mm. historical evidence yeah. for Jesus of Nazareth is massive. Yeah. The amount of documents yeah. and writings we've got about him are really, you know, it's when, when you come to evidence, it's pay dirt. You've got so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. evidence for Jesus that even Bar Terman, who is a skeptical New Testament historian, if anyone ever asks him, did Jesus really exist? He gets quite angry about mm -hmm. it. He says, of course mm -hmm. Jesus existed. We've got more evidence for Jesus mm -hmm. than any other historical figure. So Jesus not only existed, folks, he died on the cross for that's our fine. sins. Yeah. And on the third day? Was risen. Risen from the grave. And that's why yeah. you can go to Jerusalem today and... The empty See, tomb the empty is tomb. still empty. empty. It's yeah. still empty, folks. Empty. Yeah. So that is our yeah. Holy Ghost gossip for yeah. today. So over to Happy. Happy, what is Why coming is yes? up next? Oh boy, it's time for the Parfait Challenge. Oh, oh it's the Parfait Challenge. Challenge. It's just what everyone looks forward to every oh. single week. We are coming up to the Pie Face Challenge, and this week Nikki has the challenge for I us. So I've got right, some of your things over the here, though. Equipment there, yeah. Ooh, you've got the equipment. Stretch. Let me stretch. Okay, okay, so we we have a bowl each. Do you want to explain the game? Yes, we have a bowl each. So this is pick up polo. Okay. Pick up Mr. Polo game. Yep. And so what we do is is we put our polos into a bowl, which is in front of us here, and we have our other little bowl there, which we need to transfer these little polos into with our little chopsticks. Okay, how many are we doing? So we're, we're doing going to have five, five each. So I'll do that now. One, two, three. This is going to be the winning this is, five this is, on this side. Four, this is a tense game today. I need to win this for my five. confidence. <laughs> she bruised my confidence last week. Yeah, I, I, know, she I was crushed. Do you want to do yours for hygiene reasons? For hygiene reasons. I've been, I've been called Moonface ever since. <laughs> Moonface Paul, brilliant. they call me. Okay, so one, you know two. These bowls aren't that brilliant, but anyway. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> oh, to get the... Um... Yeah, because it's quite tricky to try and, you know, get these little polos onto the chopstick in there. Of course. But it's... Don't forget, we need our box files as well. The to, box to, files. To raise oh, the yes, 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 yes. We do Excuse need that Excuse me, well, just one so, second. Yeah. There we go. So let's <coughs> pop that on there. Yeah. There so we put are. that way because of um, yeah. the sticky. There we are. There we are. So this one just sits by the side. That one's a little bit elevated. Okie dokie. And of course, we have the Bell of Destiny with us this week. Oh, the right. famed yeah. Bell of Destiny, oh, yeah. which what story have we got this week? Legend then, only Mr. surpasses Paul? its own legend. Well, <laughs> as you well know, the Bell of Destiny has a, a, a terrific. Histor historical uh, background to it. And, um, the origins of the Bell of Destiny, I don't know if you've ever heard this before, but you've heard of King Arthur and Merlin, yes. where there was the, the sword in the stone and whoever mm -hmm. 
managed to pull the, the sword out of the stone would become king. And obviously Merlin then would become his magician and it's all enchanted and stuff like that. Well, that's the story you hear in, in, in film and that's the story right. you hear in, in okay, books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in fine. reality, it wasn't a sword he had to remove from a stone. It was the bell Ooh, of destiny. Wow. And Merlin had enchanted this very bell. And even today, when it rings, if you listen carefully enough, you will hear the words, Abracadabra. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have seen them at car boot sales. I, mean, oh, I love my car boot sales. I love my car boot sales, especially my dad's. It's the bestest one. But yeah, I've seen them at car boot sales. Spoiling the legend of the Bell of Destiny <laughs> every week. So somebody could have picked it up from there from a special place. <laughs> Okay then, right. so. Okay. Have you, uh, oh, this is quite scary. It, it is, especially because Nikki confessed no. against me earlier. She practiced this I game. I had to test it because. You and know, I said, which which chopstick did you use? She said, I'm not sure. I washed it. I, <laughs> I said she had to wash it. I didn't wash it. How gross is that? Right. Okay. So what we have to do you, now? You can't tip the bowl. You can't tip the because bowl. Because that's cheating, because I tried it myself. It makes it too easy, okay? We wouldn't so want to cheat, would we, Nick? You, no, we wouldn't. So don't try and insinuate that I cheat, okay? Okay. <laughs> right, okay. So what we're going to do is, is you get it in there with your mouth. You yep. can hold the bowl and you can turn the bowl. Okay. But you can't lift the bowl. Can't lift the bowl, can't touch the polos. Can't touch the polos. You can only, first... first one to get them all in here. Pipe. If one comes out or whatever it is. <clears throat> This doesn't count. Mind. Yeah, it doesn't count. Sorry. Okay, so when the bell of <laughs> destiny rings, <laughs> I'm gonna let, do you want to ring the bell of destiny this week? I better have okay. a <laughs> Very, uh, Sorry, guys, this is hilarious. Two, one. <laughs> oh, I'll put it back in. <laughs> She had two left. That wasn't even close. That wasn't even close. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, what revenge is, is mine. On my own games, I lose. Revenge On your game, is I mine. win. I think I'm looking forward to your game next week because I seem to win. Oh, I'm looking game. forward to this right now. I'm not looking forward to next week. Oh, here we go, folks. Oh, oh, you better tie that hair back, girl. I'm moon facing you I like you've so never bad. been I moon faced. I over there because I was like, I am not losing this today. It's so oh, she is. I hope you didn't tip that bowl, by the way, because I we will be nothing. looking when you we can, see the show. <laughs> you can look back. Oh, I didn't even practice that before we got together today, so. Look at it. I absolutely left it. Well, a man's got to do what a man's got to do, right? Oh. oh no, I'm dizzy. <laughs> you may have to fast forward this. This is going to take a while. Look at the adrenaline, like, oh. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> the adrenaline. I'm shaking with excitement. <gasps> this is so, oh, wow. so good. I don't this is it. so, We're so good. We're going to have to get another one of those next week. You're literally finishing it up there. <laughs> oh, come on now. This is, I thought I was going to win this one. Oh. <laughs> We are out of oh, cream. <laughs> man, you need to get me a better game next time. Seriously. Okay, so this is what this is what I want you to say, Nikki. I want you to say this is madness. So say I this is. Have to say you have to say it because I won't say this is madness. Does that mean if I win next week that you have to I, say, I have what to say I whatever? Say. Yep, yep. Because I want to do this because this is reenacting a film scene that I really, really love. Okay, so say this is madness. This is madness. 
madness. This is Sparta! You've got ears. She's got ears. Well, that's it, folks, from the Paul and Nikki show. Have a wonderful week. See you next week, Friday, 7 p.m. God bless. Goodbye. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. We hope you like it. Now, what would be really nice is if you would subscribe to our channel and told all your friends about us. This would advertise our show for free. And it would be really nice if you could do that for me. <laughs> the Paul and Nikki Show. The greatest show on earth. Woohoo!